show you something because now and what, what, what happens? What comes from boyfriend and girlfriend? What what you what, uh, what kind of actions come with that? Yep. Kissing. Okay, kissing. What else? Okay, okay. I'm sure it develops past kissing. What else? There you go, sex. So now, is that something that uh, that uh, that's supposed to be for anybody, or is that supposed to be for marriage? Happy little warm, gotta pick a side. Pick a side. Who am I? This, this is a commandment that we gotta keep. Give me another commandment, Deuteronomy 22. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh -huh. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So he says a man should put on a woman's garment. What's that talking about? What shouldn't a man wear that belongs to a woman? Long hair, dresses and stuff. Okay, I wouldn't say the long hair, but the dresses, that's correct. Because if you see a man walking around with a dress, what would you assume he is? A woman. Well, you, I mean, you probably tell us not a woman, but, but you, 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 he he, yeah, he, he would be probably with a homosexual, dra they call it a drag queen, right? You know what I'm saying? Because, because, because that, that's not a tire of a man, right? So read, read it again. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Now, what shouldn't woman wear that belongs to a man? Fans. Pants, there he is. A pants is a woman not supposed to be wearing that. Shorts, pants, none of that. So God, these are commandments that God put in place because there should be no cross-dressing in Israel. My sister, you're not supposed to be wearing the pants. But they never taught that in the Christian church. They let the, the, the church on Sunday is the only time you'll see the so-called Christian woman wearing a dress. Right. Well, because, probably because they're trying to outdo the other one, right? Yeah, right. Just like my sister. Sister, you plan on being married one day? Are y'all married? Y'all not married? Is your, was your girlfriend or something? Okay, so now even that—that's not a commandment. I'm gonna read that to you. So now, if do you, you plan on being married one day? What do you plan on wearing when you get we get married? A dress. But why would you wait till marriage to wear a dress? Because that would be something feminine that a woman would wear. But that's something you're supposed to be wearing all the time. Tobit seven fourteen. Yeah, Tobit seven fourteen. Real quick. Work. Read that real quick. Tobit seven fourteen. But now, but this, this, these are things that they should have been teaching in church, but they're not teaching our people what God requires of them. They're not showing you how to make it to the kingdom of heaven. They're not showing you what you want, need to do in order to be saved. They're telling you a song and a dance and a white man saying, hey, he just going to give you a hug. Read that real quick. The book of Tobit, chapter 7 and verse 14. And Edna, his wife, and took paper and did write an instrument of Covenant. So this is what God said. God never put in place a uh, boyfriend and girlfriend. That was that's never in the Bible. So how long y'all been together? A year. Okay. So now give me real quick. Give, oh, we're gonna jump back to that. But give me uh, Hebrews real quick, thirteen and four, and we're gonna go back to that. I'm gonna show you something because now and we, we, what happens? What comes from boyfriend and girlfriend? What what you what, uh, what kind of actions come with that? Kissing. Okay, kissing. What else? Hugging, okay. I'm sure it develops past kissing. What else? Sex. There you go, sex. Yeah. So now, is that something that uh, that uh, that's supposed to be for anybody, or is that supposed to be for marriage? Read it, read it. Marriage. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13 and verse 4. Yeah. Marriage is honorable in all, uh -huh. and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. So he said marriage is what's honorable in the sight of God. So are y'all two having sex? Yeah. So now, biblically speaking, God said you're not supposed to be doing that. He said you're supposed to be waiting into marriage, right? That's right. Because if God, if, if, if when you have a, just a boyfriend or girlfriend, is there any commitment to that? What happens if he gets you pregnant? Can he just bounce? Yes, he can. He can he, 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 you wake up, he gone. You ain't got no paperwork on that. You, he gone. He out. So now that and that's and what comes from that is single parent household right. because majority of the brother you have, you grew up in single parent household. Teach. Nah, you did. What about you, sister? You did. Was your parents married at one point? Yep. Okay. Why? Because usually single parent households come from people who ain't married. They, they, they it don't come, it, it don't come from people who hey you know what let's wait to marriage let's do all the right things and then we, and then we're gonna have children. Nah, it's because they they carry before they marry, right. and that's the issue. God, but read that one more time. 
The book of Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Wow. Marriage is honorable in all. He says marriage is what's going to uh, make the, that, uh, that, uh, that agreement honorable, read. And the bed undefiled. And then the bed will be undefiled because of it. Because now what you do with your wife that's righteous in the sight of God, read. But whoremongers and adulterers. He said whoremongers and adulterers. My brother, what's a whoremonger? A whoremonger. A whoremonger. She's on his wife. What's you, brother? Well, sister, what you say it was? He cheats on his wife, his girlfriend. He out there home with other women, laying with other women. Come on. Right. Okay, an adultery, yep. Yeah, but a whoremonger is a man who sleeps around from woman to woman without marriage. And then a, a, a then a, a, whore, a whoremonger that also goes for the women who sleeps around from well, woman man to man. So now when you when you have sex with a sister and you not a married to her, what are you doing? Give me that real quick in Leviticus you know nineteen. Everybody she has sex with. You have sex, everybody he has sex with, you have sex with. Hey, okay, everybody yeah, sex exactly. With, you because they say it's a whoremonger is an adulterous God will judge, right? So what kind of what kind of things can happen between between jumping around from woman to woman, man to man? Disease. Disease. Death. Definitely, you know, dudes can be jealous. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, you know what I'm saying? You never Hatred. know. You never because uh -huh. when you set yourself up uh -huh. like that without marriage. It can, it, it can always, it's always going to end badly because now you have, you know, drug, uh, disease, you got the, you can mess around and get a woman pregnant and then you're not, and then you bounce, you leave her with a child and then you do this as well. You got that? The book of Leviticus chapter, about the sisters? The book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse, what was it? 29. 29. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. He said, don't prostitute your daughter. Don't prostitute any man's daughter to cause her to be a whore. Meaning, right. when you're dealing with a sister outside of marriage, you're trying to make her a whore. Right. You gotta understand that. That that's evil in the sight of God. That's what that's what our men have been doing. That's what they promote mm -hmm. in the rap music. That's yep. what they promote on TV. All, all this stuff. Hey, get as many women you want. They, they promote the sisters to do the same thing. You got, uh, uh, the, what, the sexy reds and the, um, Nicki Minaj. the, the Nicki Minaj's, right? Talking about they Coochie Brown and all this other evil. Because they what they want to push, they want to cause our daughters to be whores. They want our men to be whoremongers. Right. But God says it's not to be like that. Right. He says marriage is honorable. Right. You can't be dealing with any woman without marriage. He says that's the only way. Now jump back to that in Tobit. This is what we're supposed to do. This is what God set, set up as the order. Not for us to just jump, have jump offs or one night stands. Because you say you've been together for a year. Now, uh, how, now is that enough time to, to know a person? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Or to, or to really, uh, because your, 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 your body is the most valuable thing you got. So you don't want, sister, you don't want to just be giving that to any man. Right. Because you can find out this dude might be crazy. So right. Brother, you can find out she might be crazy. Right. So you want to make sure that y'all uh, prove each other first and, and before you start spreading the legs and giving off the goods. Right. Because there's a, yeah, yeah. Well, we just, well, no, what we just reading that told me. Okay, yes, sir. He said, because there's an old saying, sister, you never heard the saying, it says, why buy the cow when you get the milk for free? Oh. Really? So why would he marry you if he can just have sex with you whenever he wants? Right. right. Would, would there be a point in marrying you? Really? He get he get he get all the he get all the uh, the benefits of marriage without actually doing the covenant. He could bounce any time. So you gotta see that's a, that right there is evil in the sight of God. We gotta oh, make sure we're uh, putting uh, cut pipe papers on this. Read that. The book of Tobit, chapter seven and verse fourteen. Uh -huh. And called Edna his wife uh -huh. and took paper. And they took what? And took paper. They took paper. They went to the court. They took paper. Read. And did write an instrument. Of covenant, and said so they wrote down an instrument of covenants, meaning some a promise. Read and sealed it, and sealed it, meaning made it. They made it official in the, in, uh, in the courthouse. Read and they began to eat. He said, and then after that, that's when they had the wedding feast. So yes. said, that's that's the ordinance of God. You supposed to be taking paper and then writing that down and, and notarizing it, getting that thing official in the in the, in the court before you lay down with a woman. Nature. That's that's marriage, marriage certificate. Marriage certificate. That's correct. So you supposed that's what you supposed to do before you go down and marry. I mean, uh, get down on a woman because that uh, creates whoremongers. That creates adulterers. Right. That's evil in the sight of God. So you got to make sure you're doing that. Now give me that. Uh, so rock. Chapter 6 and verse 7. Uh -huh. If thou wouldest get a friend. He said, if you, the Bible says if you want to get a friend. You, you got a girlfriend? Okay, okay, I'll pray. So before, before you get, get with a woman you, and you're trying to have sex with her, read that one more time. If thou wouldest get a friend. If you want to get a friend. Prove him first. It says prove them first. 
it, the proving process, it, it takes time. You have to prove to see whether or not that person is, is truly about God. That's what it boils down to. Are they, do they care about what the Bible says? Are they going to follow the commandments? Because that's the only way you're going to know if they're going to do right by you if they follow God's commandments. But you won't be able to know that if you're giving them everything they want before you actually do the, go through the proving. Read that again. <laughs> If thou wouldest get a friend, uh -huh. prove him first, uh -huh. and be not hasty to credit him. You know how you know how you hasty to credit somebody when you open up your legs to them. When you when you when you give them the things that they want without having proved them first. Read. For some man, for some man is a friend of his own occasion. You hear that? Hey, my brother, right here. Come come over. We going over. We going over uh, the, the the what God says about what marriage is. He says. But before y'all go, do y'all understand that though? You, according to the Bible, we the Israelites, and we gotta be keeping God's commandments. Oh, that you have to be, that Sorry. you have to have marriage in order to, in, in the sight of God. That's the only thing righteous. Because is this your daughter? I gotta check the Bible. Oh, yeah, like, my, like my daughter. It's like your daughter. Now, do you want your daughter to grow up and be married or be somebody's girlfriend or jump off? She can do whatever she wants. You that, that, that would make you happy if she's a girlfriend or a jump off? Because brother, this is what you gotta understand. Make sure you read. Make sure you read the flyer, and you gotta learn what God requires of you, sister. You can't allow this brother to sleep with you, and he ain't married you. you y'all gotta, y'all gotta do what God says. So come out of school and learn, all right? So brother, going back to you, brother, because you said uh, because we we trying to show what how what's gonna make the change in our what's gonna make the change in our community. We gonna say is it is it is it our men sleeping around from woman to woman, or is it our people getting married? Change come, the community is gonna be people getting married. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 